D'Lo only played um, 21 minutes tonight. Um, what did you see there? Uh, why did you make the decision in the second half to go away from him? Uh, again, just you know, level of compete, attention to detail. You know, some of the things we you know talked, have talked with him about for a couple of weeks, and at times he's he's been really good uh, with that stuff, and other times you know it's it's just reverting back to certain habits. But uh, you know, it wasn't like a punishment. It just felt like you know for us to have a chance to win this game. It was that was the route we wanted to take. Uh, Can't see that. Yeah, you say, uh, I think they know who we are. Huh? You think you know me? Know who we are? Lakers, look at you, man. We coming for these kids. Come on. Yeah, he's the leader of Lakers World Order, bringing you his opinion on all things sports. Angry Lakers fan. Accountability, an obligation or willingness to accept responsibility or to account for one's actions. What's up, Lakers fans? This is Angry Lakers fan representing Angry Lakers fan media and Lakers world order. Thank you all for another, another great week and getting the views up and and, you know, getting the content out there and all of that. I want to thank all of y'all for doing that. Um, let's get to this situation, man, with the whole D'Angelo Russell and, and J.J. Reddick. And the reason why we're in the up war is because a lot of this is foreign to us. You know, a lot of this is foreign to us. We we haven't had a coach, I want to say, since Byron Scott that that uh, holds people accountable for when they're not doing that. Remember, Byron Scott, he said, if you ain't playing defense, you ain't getting no playing time. You know, he pull you out the game if he see you ain't playing defense. That was his thing, okay? And and rightfully so. Rightfully so. Uh, defense wins championships for the most part. So I would say that. We haven't had a coach like this since Byron Scott when it comes to holding players accountable. I love that J.J. Redick is doing this, okay? I, I love it. I mean, how many times have we seen over the past two to three years, maybe even four, where a player is playing like complete garbage and the player is still out there and we as fans and we as the viewers – Wonder why the hell they out there still checking up threes, or wonder why the hell they still out, still out there. Period. Like this, this, this the uh, kind of stuff we was getting on Darvin Ham for, leaving players out there that shouldn't be in the game, leaving players out there that's fucking up the rotation, leaving players out there that's not doing what they're supposed to do, leaving players out there that's being lazy, leaving players out there that's not shooting the ball right, leaving players out there that's just looking like they just want to just give up. You know, but they still out there anyway because you playing favorites. This is what we got on Darvin Ham for. And the fact that we're actually getting this from JJ Reddick, you know, in, the, in you know, holding players accountable is great to see as a fan. I don't care who you are, okay? I don't care who you are. Playing bad, go sit down for a few minutes. You keep fucking up, okay, cool. You sit the rest of the game. That's how you coach. That's how you coach. You put your team in the best position to win. Period. I love what JJ Redick is doing. Now, it's not his fault for the most part that, you know, we're not hitting the shots. As you can see, he is drawing up plays to get people open shots. A lot of plays that he drew up and all the three, a lot of threes we shot were open shots. So he's drawing up the plays. It's just that we're not hitting them. So we cannot blame J.J. Reddick for our, you know, horrible offense at times because he's drawing up the plays. We're just not hitting the shots. You know, we're not forcing shots. We're not, you know, doing that. A lot of shots I see, like I said, are open shots. So if you're not hitting those open shots on a consistent basis, you're not hitting those shots, sit your ass down. And I like the fact that he's doing that. So... Hey, if anybody got a problem with it, you know, the players on the team, then, hey, it's time to put you in a trade package to see who wants you because you're not for us. Maybe we need the personnel to be able to do that. But as of right now, we don't have it. 